Filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. So far, task force has been working out here in Homewood for approximately eight days. And in those eight days, we've had 88 arrests. We've gotten 20 some guns off the street. And the streets look like they're going back to the community. So we'll keep doing what we have to do to keep the city of Pittsburgh clean and drug free. So we're here to stay. We're going to go ahead up by the steps there. Okay, we just got a call up on um, Brushton Avenue. We got a drug transaction going on there. Um, possibly um, um, five to six actors involved in this here. What this is is on the edge of the city, so it's like um, we're chasing them out of the city and they're going right onto the edge of Penn Hills right now. So um, we're going to go up and check it out. Okay, a woman's He's going, he's all on block. There goes another one, the Raiders. We're on Monticello Extension. This is Monticello. It's got to be up top. Monticello Extension. Where we were. There, on the steps, they coming down. We got them down the bottom. Come on. Come on. Grab the wall. Grab it. Come on, big boy. Hey, what are you running for? Why'd you run? Get on the pole here. Why'd you run? I'm scared. Scared of who? The police? I don't know who. Don't you know ever go to school? Can you read? I just see three quarters away now. I just see both of them start poking. They, they get anything? I don't know yet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they got to do. Oh, okay. come on. Come on, bud. Come here. Bring your hands back. It's all you. What are we going to cuff with? Oh. Chairman. Drugs, cuz. I ain't got no drugs. Shouldn't have ran. Oh, you're so come smart. On, you're so we'll smart. Make you got to be back. Back. You're going to make them walk back up? Where's the key? Who's key? You never do. You have it stashed. They were cutting it up here? Yeah. No, they wasn't cutting it. It was bagging. Oh, bagging. Bag. Yeah. So they were getting ready to cut They the were breaking them down in the 20s. These are 50s, 50s, 50s. Here's a 20, 20. Okay, break them in the 20s. 20s or 50s right here. Okay. And those are the two uh, the two nice gentlemen that ran right into my, me and my partner Carl here that we caught on the steps that gave us the nice exercise coming all the way back up. But this is the product of uh, chasing them down. We got a little bit more crack off the street. A couple more dealers be heading to the county jail. They messed with a stolen car. Drift down here. It might be a stolen. It might be a stolen car. Watch yourself, Dave. They got guns. Check for guns. Check for guns. Get out of here. Get out of here. Put your hand up. Let me see them in there. Hands up. Step out. Take them out one at a time. Get out. Get out. Down on the ground. Down here. On the ground. Bring your hand behind your back. Hand behind your back. Hand behind your back. What did they do? Down on the ground. Down here. Bring your hand behind your back. Hand behind your back. I knew he had a gun. I got guns. Give me a flex cup. You don't want to use my cup. Give me a flex cup. Bring him them flex cups. Them flex cups. We got two guns? Two guns. What are you wearing wig and glasses for? It's midnight. What are you wearing wig and glasses for? To kill somebody. And how old are you? 16! You ain't even lived! And you're ready to take somebody's life! I didn't... Sit up. I think it's still wet. I just turned it off. Oh, somebody else in the trunk. Where's his glasses at? 
Put them on. Now, we had this young man in a lineup, and he killed someone looking like this. Then he combed his box up real high without the glasses and wigs. We'd never find you. But yeah, you'd have killed somebody tonight, right? Going around. Right around in all this black wig and glasses. They put me and my friend up over there to want to do with the blue shoes on. And you just happened to have a gun with you, right? I didn't have no gun. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got another one here. Two more guns off the street. Task Force 2, them zero. There's another one. These all puppies, man? All puppies. All puppies. Lawrence, is that him? Driver. I'm driver. That's the driver. That's the driver. That's the one that almost ran you over. Yeah, he tried to run to the side of our car. He tried to ran right into our door. The other officer moved the car. And hey, they Tony. The car by about an inch. You got some information. That's them. This looks like a typical drive-by. You know, um, the two guns, the wig, the guy dressed in all black. Yeah, well, the one kid was out of the car with his arm out. Looked like he had a gun in his hand. Yeah. We, we settled that when I seen the kid throwing the gun. When he threw it seat. down. Probably all okay. these people were screaming when we rolled, when we rolled around, around the corner, corner yeah. Tap around off. Probably whack somebody. Yeah, I can go home feeling good tonight. But we got a couple more guns off the streets. This is your sergeant saying that uh, you guys did a real good job tonight, and I'm giving everybody three good jobs done and two attaboys. I became a police officer because I like helping people. I like interacting with others and just simply being around when I'm needed. Each of us are individuals. We should be respected as individuals and for the jobs, that, the job that we have to do. When people call the police, then they should give us the respect because they put us in the situation. We didn't just happen to be there. They put us there, and they should respect us for what we do there. I put my life on the line every day with this uniform for those very people who don't respect me because one day they will pick up the phone and call me or another officer for our help. And, um, you know, it, it angers me, but I still do my job. I do what I have to do, and I do do it for them. We're going to uh, Maripose Street for landlord-tenant dispute. How you doing? Sir, we got this the whole situation, right? We these people were supposed to have been out of this apartment earlier today, right? Uh-huh. They ain't up, they only thing they up there doing was break breaking stuff. Break they broke the window. We're supposed to move up there. We're supposed to be in there today. They up there breaking windows, laughing, smiling, taking their good old time. We've been waiting 12 hours. It's like seven of them. And their bags and stuff is still sitting there. Okay. And we got furniture and everything already up in the hallway, ready to go in the apartment. But they up there sitting around. Where's lounging. the landlord? We are, we just try to call him. We can't get in touch with him at his office. Okay. Here comes Miss Bra right now. Here she comes now. She has a smart mouth. So do I. What's the problem here? Okay, the problem is we're moving our stuff out. Our lease ends today. That's fine. So we're moving our stuff out. Apparently, my landlord promised these gentlemen that they could move in at noon today no, without, no, mentioning it to me, without mentioning it to me. So when he called me up on Thursday, I said, fine. At noon, if they wanted it, I could give them the bedroom. I could have the bedroom cleaned out, and we finished cleaning out the front room during the day, because we have a lot of stuff up there. Now, so that's what we've been doing all day. I turned a set of keys over to this gentleman at um, noon, uh, it's still at 11.30, I guess, is when the landlord the came up. And I said that they could have the bedroom. He apparently had ordered some furniture to come in that will not fit in the bedroom. So it's sitting out in the hallway. We're still moving out. And he just came into the apartment and said he was going to start putting our stuff out in the street. Because this is all they've been doing, sir. This is all they've been doing. What's she doing now? Sitting on the... She know we downstairs waiting for We've been waiting all day for like nine hours, ten hours. They all up there laughing, thinking it's a joke. And, and it ain't no joke because we want to get in they our broke apartment. Window. So she, she started clapping. Broke, she, the window yeah. she broke she now. Clapping she yeah, yeah the she the started clapping, but she didn't know I was standing right there when and she was hollering to her I friend. I have though. no desire to leave my apartment with these gentlemen who seem to be rather upset. For fear that what do you mean you have?
have no intentions of leaving your apartment. Let me finish. I have no intention of leaving my apartment to move the rest of my stuff out. That's what I mean. While these gentlemen are standing here for fear that they're going to go to move all my stuff and put it out in the street. No, we're coming to help. We're coming to help. We come to help. I've been waiting all day. We come to help all day. Get those boxes because this is every time in the morning. Look, they're trucks right there. Both of them trucks. These vans are going to come back and And they got about ten more boxes. But they will not leave us alone. And right now, I'm truthfully afraid to leave my apartment yeah. for fear that I will take back and everything no I still more, have will be gone. Oh, it ain't your apartment ain't no more. Ain't nothing in there. Ain't nothing in there but big boxes of books and games oh, and all that stuff. They've been, they been doing that. this all day, playing around, and lounging, they never, and they, they know me and my girlfriend, we've been anxious to get up to the apartment all day, but they just sitting around carrying out one little box at a time. Yeah, That's all I see them carrying is one little box, man. They know we downstairs waiting for them. And then, because somebody's supposed to move an apartment, we're moving out of. And he calling, trying to get in, but we, he can't come in because we can't go to our apartment. I understand the dilemma. I'm trying to get out. That's all I can do. You really look like you understand. I mean, you really look like it. How much more do you have to move out? A whole bunch. We're just going to help him. Then why don't you let them help you? Because the vans are full. We need to take them. Where are you moving to? South Oakland, down on Long Street. How many people do you have helping you move? Right now, there are five of us here. But like I said, we don't want been to like leave. But look, can I say something I'm right quick? Because this will make a long story short. Look. How they, they all don't got to go with you to your other house. They can, we can help move your stuff out here in the front. Some of your people can stay right here and watch your property while y'all take the vans back down there and unload and Ain't come back. That's, do all. That's, property, all they all That's all we, we trying to do is get, get that stuff out of there. We've been waiting That's too long. Your people can stand right there. Yeah. 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 Then go upstairs and move your stuff out on the street then while we are here right now. We can't get in touch with him. We can't get in touch with him, not the problem. You have three hours. It will be 12 o'clock anyway, which will be the next day. And if you're supposed to be out of your apartment by today, well, these gentlemen obviously are anxious to get into their apartment. We are here. Go move your stuff out. Okay, fine. You stay here until someone comes back to get us. No, you're going to leave somebody here, and you're going to move, you know, to watch your stuff. <laughs> They're going to take them two vans out of here. Two of their people will stay here and keep moving the stuff to the street yeah, yeah. and uh, work together and we'll get it all That's done. That's all we've been trying to do, yeah. sir. Okay, That's fine. That's what we've been trying to do. That's what we're going to do now. Okay? That's what we've been trying to do. And if you just want to expedite them moving out, you just can help them. She don't want them to help, Jim. Oh, Jim, she don't want them me. to help. I don't know why, because I know they try to run it up and down, back and forth with all of us. That's the less trip, you know what I'm saying? I know they... See, we came to help him. That's yeah, what we brother. waiting to. Right. So we hope, I understand. We hope they don't be taking, like, and, like, the next hour, they bring, like, four boxes down. I understand, but being that she's in that mood, just appease her a little bit and, you know... Are you married? Yeah. You have a girlfriend? Yeah. You know the scorn of a woman. <laughs> I resent that remark. You probably would. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. There we go. Thank you. How nice. Oh, aren't you guys sweet? That's bad. You're bad news. Thank you. You're like Thanks you again. Water in your glass. <laughs> I still have your birthday present out in the car. Did you want us to go get this so you can have it on your head again? Right? No. No, thank you. Thank you very much for the cake. That's uh, certainly more than enough. Thanks, good. From you, too. Real good. It's that sugar high. We'll be running all night now. Right? Sure. Uh, are we ready to go here or this cake back? 3531R. Active service. 
Oh, come over and talk to me for a second. Where's what his car? This kid's got car got hit, yeah. and you guys went up the street to get the guy that hit him, or somebody. Okay. You so say you guys called the car? Yeah, we was coming down the hill, and this okay. blind Cadillac turned. And okay. He had his turn signal on, and he smashed him. So I was stopped. He bashed his head off of the thing. Okay. He pulled over to the side. And then dude kept on the going Cadillac up the street. The kept on going up the hill. Yeah, and I seen Brian. I was like, dude, why don't you go grab his dude, see if you see him. He went up and he seen him. He told him, he said, you have a problem driving? The dude's coming down the hill now, he said. He said he was up on Davidson looking at his car. Me and my buddy here, we see All right, we're going to go out and walk. We even got a piece of his car. They're coming down the hill here. Let's check them out. Okay. All right, you see someone hit and run like that this hour tonight. He's interesting to go talk to. We got a guy that got hit and ran, and here comes the alleged people that hit and ran. I'm gonna go see what happened here. You guys in an accident? No. Don't lie to us. Where, where, where's your Cadillac at, bud? These kids not as good driving a black Cadillac up the street there. Where are you going there? I was walking down with him, and he said, uh, I was sitting on the corner. He said, the time was, uh, two were you driving? I said, I no. He said, well, you were. we thought you were driving this car here. Why don't you come down and talk to us? Where were you, where were you coming from when you came home, when you hit the car? I wasn't. Coming, huh? I didn't hit the car. You, you weren't driving a car, John? No. No, sir. Okay. Do you own a Cadillac? No. You know we're going to check. We find out you're lying to us, we're not going to be very happy. Go ahead. We got people here to say that you were driving the vehicle. Are you, are you telling us you're not because you're drunk? Is that why? Because you smell like alcohol, John. I was drinking, but uh, I wasn't driving a cab. I'm driving. Okay, well, we're going to go up there and we're going to find out that you're going to be under arrest. We got the front end damage from what the, uh, the victim said. We got a good case here. Let's go see if this guy's going to be in talks and work with him. I want you to stand here, stand where you are, put your feet together. Okay? I want you to stand, put your head back, close your eyes. All right? Put your arms out at your sides. Now, with your right index finger, tilt your head back. I want you to, and close your eyes. I want you to touch the tip of your nose, to your right one. Okay, I'll close it. Now I want you to do it with your right index finger. All right, now do it with your left index finger. Okay, all right. I just think your holes has, your story has too many holes in it. I mean, you smell like a brewery. You could barely touch your nose. And then you're walking out with a pen like you're going to come down here to exchange information. You know, they see you behind the wheel of the car. All of a sudden, you decide you want to go out and try and move it off the curb. I wasn't behind the well, wheel Well, if there's the pieces car. of your... I'm going to walk down the street. I want to look, Tommy, and see if there's pieces of a uh, gray or brown car down there. Dale, my buddy Dale, see There's one car. We, we grabbed it and put it in his car. There's that guy's kid marks right there. He okay, on. okay, all right. Well, well, see, I just I was wondering if he was going to say, well, you hit his car and took That's off. That's impossible. Well, then, yeah, I see that now. I mean, the parts are here. No, that, 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 that guy right And this part here. came off the car, too. Yeah, that's the part that was laying in the middle of the street. All right, now it's, it's becoming more and more, uh, you know, apparent that the... Uh, my man here is the driver of the car. Oh, well, we can talk to his dad. Hold on a second. Hey. Um, you were driving, weren't you? Yeah. Why in the hell don't you just tell us the truth? Because, I'm, because you're I'm drunk. Scared. Oh, I'm scared. you should be. Because you hit a car, you hurt a kid, you take off. You know what those charges are? No, I don't. Hit and run? I mean, un leaving the scene of an accident, driving under the influence. I understand being scared, but lying to us doesn't do you any good. I mean, you got to figure eventually we're going to yeah, figure out what's going on. You got you got too many people that saw it, and then you have a girl coming on here. All right, he did it. These officers here are going to transport them down to uh, traffic division where our intoxilizer section is. 
and he'll be requested to take an intoxilizer test, and then uh, depending on the results of those tests, it'll be depend on what he is charged with. He said he was scared, you know, he hit the car and didn't know what to do, and uh, told him the wrong thing to do was lie and us. Okay, we'll still send a code three. 